Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy. Aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper? What? Huh? Oh. Hey. Scooby Doo here wishing you a Merry Christmas. Too short for a stormtrooper. What's she talking about? I'm 6'3. I knew I should have went to Darth Vader. Hey everyone. Hope you enjoyed the intro. And again, Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, today I wanted to do a short video review on the YDD lightsaber and I also wanted to give a few more updates. Uh, as you can see, first off in the background there are no quarter scale figures on the table. I think they've been there for what, like seven, eight months? Uh, I did a lot of cleaning up this last week. Uh, packed those up. Also two over here. Remember I had all those figures. Also box all those up. My plan is with all my extra stuff I plan on starting to sell some of it on eBay. So uh, I will notify you when I start doing that and I'll actually be doing a video on each item that I sell. I have again the quarter scale Sideshow Premium Formats. I, I have a uh, Hot Toys 2-pack Stormtrooper which is very collectible. Got some Fets. I think I'm also going to be doing um, some of my vehicles uh, that I've done over the last couple years uh, that, that did all the paint work and stuff on it. I might let a few of those go, uh, my X-Wing, maybe some TIE Fighters, so uh, stay tuned for that. Also, too, if you noticed, uh, I was working on my uh, Captain Phasma uh, mask voice changer. That's going to go on the uh, sequel wall, along with that Kylo Ren. I actually had to do some work on there. They Those masks come with like a speaker hole, so I had to close that up and then repaint it and then do the weathering job. I think it actually came out really good. I'm not going to do a video on it. I will do a video as far as what it looks like on the wall once I get that ready to go. And then of course we're still working on the Empire uh, cabinet, entertainment cabinet. I'm going to be doing some more reviews this coming up week. And then I got some more figure reviews. I got my Emperor Palpatine. I believe I pronounced it right that time. Uh, that is shipped and is due to arrive this Wednesday. I also have the Luke from Sideshow. I think that's that's on a pre-order. That should be coming in January. And then a few more figures. And then I have some really cool helmets and um, stuff that I'm going to do reviews on. Hopefully by next weekend. So, but today I wanted to do this little review on this YDD lightsaber, which is right here. Now, I picked this up uh, on Amazon for, I think it was $52 or $53. That was including shipping because I do have Prime. I was actually looking for some Force Pikes. I did get a Rubies, which I'll do a review on as well later on. Uh, but I really wasn't happy with the Rubies, so I decided to go with a lightsaber. I didn't want to spend a lot of money, but I did want it to be made out of metal. So I did purchase this one. So I did want to show you. Uh, I'm not really much of a saber person. I do collect lightsabers, but they're the FX, Black Series. I have Mace Windu, Kit Fistu. Kit Fistu, Kit Fisto, uh, like two or three Darth Vaders, Luke, Darth Maul, Kylo. I just have basically most of all of them. I am hoping though that uh, the Black Series this year comes out with a Palpatine and a Count Dooku because those are the only two. And then maybe if Ray has a new lightsaber for the new movie, I'll get that as well. So again, as far as actual like dueling lightsabers go, I'm not that familiar with them. I do know a lot of people collect them and play with them and stuff, but uh, I'm more just for display. So this is a black one. It actually is sold on different websites. It might be called the Little Giant or the Youngling. And uh, it's, it's a little bit smaller than your average lightsaber. I actually measured it and the hilt I believe was let's see it's like 10 inches and the overall width the blade comes to like 38 and give you a little bit of comparison in size we'll lift the camera up really quickly um, here's a Luke and a Yoda you see the two different sizes also to the blades uh, are three-quarter inch so we'll just give you a little bit of comparison size here Wish my camera was big enough to get it all in, but there we go. So you can see it's a little bit shorter than your average black series. 
or FX. And the uh, hilt as well is quite a bit slim. But it's going to work for what I need it for. Uh, these are going to go on the side of the TV. So I just had like a little bit of room, like a little strip going up on both sides. So let me turn off the light on this. I don't like how that looks. There we go. Um, now I did buy two. This first one here, I actually did some painting on it and some weathering on it all, already. Um, it's really easy to paint. The uh, bottom of the hilt where the speaker is, that comes completely off, so you can spray paint that if you want. And then I did the weathering. Again, I didn't really spend that much time. It's not that big a deal. Now, as far as the actual saber goes, it doesn't come with instructions, but it has a bunch of different modes. Like right here, I have it in silent mode. I don't know how I got it into silent mode, but it has silent mode, and then obviously it has your saber mode. It does a clash here, let me see if I can get it to do that. I don't know why it doesn't come with instructions. I guess you can go on their website or something. Come on. It uh, charges with the USB. There we go. So it does have some good sound to it. But again, it's an entry level. $53 now on Amazon. They, um, I'm to figure out how to turn it off. There we go. On Amazon, they vary in price depending on the color of hilt, because they come in black, silver, and gold. Uh, this one was a pink, but it actually looks more purple. So the black with pink was the $53, and then it goes up to $60, $70, and $80, depending on the color of the hilt and the color of the actual blade. Still a very cool saber. I would say it's more for kids though, or really entry level if you're not sure if you want to start collecting sabers. Uh, my personal opinion, again, for what I'm going to use it for, it's going to work out awesome, so I'm very happy with it. Uh, but if you were thinking about getting a saber for the first time, I would probably just save my money. Because you can get a pretty decent looking hilt for about 150 bucks. Now, some of the hilts that you'll get that look really cool, they won't come with the sound chip and different stuff. You have to keep upgrading, but um, I think it'd be well, well, well worth it if you just kind of save your money up and spend maybe like 200 bucks, 250 to get yourself a really nice saber. But this one does work. And yeah, so um, I think I might have mentioned it, but not really. Uh, it comes with this charger. For a USB and plug it into your computer. It takes about four hours to give it a full charge. I actually charged this one for about two hours and I've been kind of playing around with it for a couple of days so I haven't had an issue with it. Comes with a little locking uh, wrench here with some extra little screws and to take off the screws if you're not familiar at all there's just these little teeny screws in here. You know, and tighten them and then the actual uh, blade comes out. Again it's three quarters it's not your normal one inch, so it's a little bit shorter. But again, it's for the price, for the $53, it's not bad. I know I could have got a cheaper lightsaber that was probably made out of plastic, but I did want to do it with the metal because these are going on display. I wouldn't display them with an FX because they just kind of look too small. But again, where they're going to go, uh, I think they're going to come out great. And then we shall um, hopefully in the future be able to get some force pikes put up. Just still working on that, but I wanted to get something up since the cabinet should be finished by next week. So that's it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or just want to know what stuff I may be selling or, I don't know, just like the video, whatever you want, just uh, go ahead and do that down below. And again, I hope everybody has a very safe and happy uh, Merry Christmas. And hopefully I will get back to you next weekend with some great reviews uh, with my figures and my new helmets that I got. So again, Merry Christmas, and I shall talk to you guys later.